All right, finally, Samsung has started rolling out the brand new update, the October patch for the Galaxy S24 series. This is the S24 Ultra I've got here. If you have an S24, S24 Plus, you would have also received this update. I'm here in India. Uh, in other countries, you might have already got it or you may be receiving it very, very soon. So wait for it patiently. And you know what? We have got another exciting update for the Galaxy S24 series. That is gonna be a brilliant update. I will talk about that in a bit. First, let's go ahead and check out the settings here. Go to the software update page, tap on download and install. As you can see, we have got the October security patch here. The size is 452.09 MB and the version number ends with CYJ7. And this is a standard size these days for the security patches. And I don't think there is anything new with this update, but if you are facing any issues with respect to the battery performance or uh, lags or stutters, any issues with the UI, then this update should fix it. I see a lot of people complaining about the battery performance issue on the Galaxy S24 Ultra and a few other S24 series devices after one UI 8 update. So uh, this security patch should bring some fix to that issue. So make sure you download and install the update. Now what we're gonna do is we are gonna resume the download here and install it and let's check the performance on the device. Let's open a few applications, that's our usual test and let's check the animations and then I will talk about the other update which is very exciting, so stay tuned. All right, the update has been installed on the device. Now, before we go ahead and do our usual test, let me quickly request you guys to subscribe to the channel. I see more than 75, 80% of the people who watch my contents are not subscribed yet. If you subscribe, you get to see some very useful contents on the Galaxy phones, the update related videos, the application updates, the comparisons with iOS and uh, Pixel phones, and a lot more tech related video, which will be very useful in your day-to-day -day life. So go ahead, subscribe to the channel and hit the like button for this video. If you find this video informative and yeah do not forget to download our wallpaper application wallverse it's a free app to download wallpapers are available for free but if you go for premium you can get rid of the advertisements and unlock some amazing collections so go ahead and do that the link for you to download it is in the description now let's go ahead let's open a few applications and see how the phone is performing let me start with gallery camera calculator my files gemini Volvo's application, phone. Let's go to recents. You can see the animation is perfect. It's smooth, no issues at all. Let's close a couple of applications here. Let's close all of them. Now let's open the quick panel here. Let's see if there's a stutter here. So no stutter at all. Let's go to the notification panel. no issues here as well. So it seems like uh, no status or no lags on the device, but as far as the battery performance is concerned, we will have to wait and see how it goes. If you have already installed this update on your device a few days ago, then do share your thoughts about the battery performance, how is it performing on your device. Now, the next thing that you need to do is go to the settings, tap on security and privacy, and tap on updates. And here, you see, uh, I'm still on August Google Play system update. Let's see if you have got any update here. No, we don't have the uh, September Google Play system update yet, which we have already received on the Galaxy S25 series. I think we will get this update probably next month. I'm not sure why it's getting delayed for the older versions. This is a Google update. We should be getting this update. This is also as important as the security patch from Samsung. So let's hope that uh, Google start releasing these updates on time every month. The next important, the second important update that I want to talk about is here. It's on Galaxy Store. Let's go to update applications and here we go. Uh, the Samsung internet does not add anything new. This was uh, received a few days ago. And then we have got display assistant update here. Again, this doesn't add anything new here. Uh, it is just stability improvements and bug fixes. But the very exciting update is for the Keys Cafe. Now, I did post a video about the new update on Keys Cafe. I have made a dedicated video. I've also posted a video about some tips and tricks using Keys Cafe just about a day ago. Uh, you can check out my video on the channel. And you guys have been asking me whether we have got this update, uh, the Keys Cafe update on your S24 series or not. And here it is. It started getting this update for S24 series. I think for the uh, S23 series also, you might have received it do go ahead and check the Galaxy Store. Now let's open Keys Cafe here. I mean, let's open the change log here. You can see there is a big change log with the latest version, 
the version number is 1.8.00.13 now this brings in some amazing new features and changes as you can see it has revamped the ui and home screen enhanced keyboard customization options and new gesture customization features and stability improvements and bug fixes let me just go ahead and update the application here let's see if we have got all the features available similar to the s25 series yeah now let's open the application and here we go we have got the brand new layout. The home page will show you the analytics of your keyboard. Today's input 60 word per minute. Uh, it is still in beta. You can see there is a beta logo here and you can see typo analysis here. If you want to know what you're doing on your keyboard, uh, how is your typing performance? If there is any errors while typing, all that will be available right here. And then comes the keyboard. And you can see this is a new layout for keyboard customization. We've got three options, design, make, and gesture. This is the design. You can select these default or presets here. And if you want to create your own, you can tap on plus button and uh, tap on colors here, effects here, and sound options. All these were the available in the previous version also, but the implementation here is different. And then comes make. And in make, you can create your own keyboard by tapping on this plus button, tap on edit, you can customize the keyboard. Maybe I'll make a dedicated video about this customization. And then comes the gesture. This is very, very useful. I posted a video yesterday about how you can set these gestures. You can just enable two finger gestures here or three finger gestures and then set the functions here. As you can see for up function, we have got undo, redo, select all, copy, copy all, cut, paste, change language, etc. Same for the two finger down gesture and left gesture and right gesture. You can also use three finger gestures. So there are some brand new gestures available on the keyboard. Then comes fun part. There are a couple of games which were already there and there is make my own sticker option now and we have got extra order. Now this is also very important. We've got an option here, use sticker suggestions in a larger view, which will bring up a bigger strip on which the sticker suggestions will be shown. And then we also have turn off delete accelerator. Again, this is very useful if you enable this. When you try to delete a few words or letters, it will not accelerate after deleting the letters uh, and deleting into words. It will only delete the letters one by one until the entire message is deleted. So that's another feature that we have. So this brand new version of Keys Cafe does add some amazing features. I think you guys should go ahead and check out my other video i will leave, link it up in the description as well as i will pin that video in the comment section i have explained all the new changes that we have on the brand new keys cafe and now this is available on the older version of the phones the uh, s24 series and maybe s23 series will also get this and uh, maybe on the a series and a few other devices which supports keys cafe so do go ahead and check this out now this is a very nice update for the s24 series Two updates together we have got the security patch and we have got the keys cafe update however we have not received the latest google play system update which is a bummer but i think we will be getting it in the next few days i will keep you guys posted about that now let me know your thoughts about this have you got the keys cafe update have you got the security patch drop a comment and while you do that be sure to subscribe to the channel and download our wallpaper application wallverse and do not forget to rate this application on play store i would really appreciate that that encourages me to keep coming up with more and more wallpapers for you guys so do go ahead and rate it five star on play store thanks a lot for watching you guys take care and stay safe i'll see you in the next one soon cheers bye bye